Today we're going to explore a few different things about the Liquitex Ceramic Stucco Texture Paste that you can use in your acrylic paintings or your abstract painting. I just recently used the Ceramic Stucco Texture Paste to create an entire painting with just that particular paste. And I did notice a few things that uh, you would want to know about if you're going to use it. So let's first start off by laying out a few different ways to test this. So I want to test this in several ways. So first off, we're going to start with just putting the paste on the canvas and then later we'll come back and see what it's like to paint it when it's dry and not mixed with any paints. Now, for this part of the test or demonstration that we're doing here, we're going to mix some of our ceramic stucco paste with our chosen color of the day, which is bright aqua green. All right, so now what I want to do here is I want to show you what happens when you don't mix enough paint with the ceramic stucco and what it looks like when it dries without enough paint mixed in it, which in the end is not really that big of a deal because you can always just continue to paint over it to get the effect you're looking for. But alternatively, you may, uh, you may decide that this sort of result is something that you actually would like to see. I'm not sure why, but it's possible. So as you can see here, you just want to mix it up real good. You can already see how it's not enough paint because you can still see some gray tones of the texture paste. All right, so now that we got that down, let's do a little bit more paint stucco mixture for this one. I wanna try and make sure not to do this where you still have paint on your palette knife as you stick it back in to get more stucco, because that's not good if you wanna, don't want that color in whatever painting you do next using it. All right, so this time we're gonna go with quite a bit more paint just to see what sort of a difference it makes when we mix more paint into it. Go ahead and mix it up. So the last thing I want to try here is a comparison of all of the different mixtures of ceramic stucco with just straight paint to see how the grayness of the ceramic stucco affects the color of the paint. So let me just put some of this paint onto my canvas and we're going to try and stick with this layered thickness and just layer on our paints. All right, so here we are. This is our wet finish. 
Let's actually be a little more scientific about this process today. We're gonna time move it just to see how long it takes to dry. So we'll be back once that's finished drying. While we're waiting for that to dry, I just wanna take a quick moment to welcome you to my channel. I'm Mark, this is the Art With Mark YouTube channel where we're learning to make, market, and monetize art. If you're enjoying this video and you wanna see more videos about texture paste and abstract acrylic painting using various different texture paste, do me a favor, smash that like button. Really helps the channel grow and lets YouTube know that you're liking this content and other people like you wanna see videos like this. Time for a quick bonus tip. We're about an hour and a half into the drying process of the ceramic stucco. And I just wanna give you a quick idea, something in case you're not running a timer on your drying process and you don't know how long it's been and you wanna to check to see if your stucco is dry. So let's go ahead and hop over to the other view so I can show you this tip. Okay, so here we are, just over an hour and a half into the drying process. And just a quick tip on how to test to make sure it's dry without getting fingerprints in your painting. So. We're just gonna use our palette knife and basically you just come in and you do a little test here. I like to try and go on the sides just in case I mess something up. I don't want it to really affect what I have. But if you look right here, right here on the corner, if you see me press on it, you can see it's still a little bit soft, not quite cured all the way just yet. So let's see if we can capture that with this piece right here. Ooh, see that? It's definitely still drying. So we still got some time to go. And this is one way to test it without getting a fingerprint in your painting. We are back. And this is now sufficiently cured. So if you look here, the same piece we were poking before is nice and hard. There's no give to that. It's not soft. When this is cured, this is not soft at all. It becomes quite stiff, quite solid. Now, some at some point, during the last six or seven hours, my clock stopped here. So it stopped at four hours and 17 minutes. I'm gonna take a guess and say it's been about six or seven hours since I originally applied this. Uh, so it does take some time for it to cure sufficiently enough for it to not be solid at all. And in fact, I'd be willing to bet it's still curing to some degree. But at this point, it's hard enough for us to finish our comparisons and uh, see if we can discern any difference. So obviously there's no paint in this one, clearly. So these two is where are where we really wanna focus. Cause obviously you can see this is gray cause there's no paint. You can see this is a nice solid saturated color because it's just our straight paint. But these two, if you look here, you can see some undercurrents of gray tones thanks to the mixture that we had. And this one definitely looks more saturated. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply paint to the surface and see what it takes to make all of these different variations match. We're gonna test to see how much it takes for this to absorb the paint and what the paint looks like once it's absorbed. Can we get it as saturated as the straight paint is over here, but with our texture showing through with some of this roughness to the surface that we get with our texture paste. Our paint's now dry, and you can see some spots in here where the paint didn't quite fill it in. So we'll have to do another layer, but when you compare this to this, you can still see how we have a better saturation of paint here than we do in our mixture that didn't quite have enough paint, even a little bit better than our mixture that had more paint in it. So at this point, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and cover the rest of this in a layer of paint so we can kind of even out our color all the way here. And then we'll, uh, we'll just continue working and adding other colors to make this a cool looking painting.
as you can see from those shots of the last layer of paint that we just did there, you can pretty much get a uniform result across the board, no matter how you apply the paint to the stucco. Whether you apply it after the stucco has dried, whether you mix it into the stucco and you don't mix enough, or you mix more into the stucco, pretty much you can get quality results no matter which direction you choose to go. One last thing to take note of here is that when applying paint, to the dry stucco. You do have some potential issues in getting the paint into different crevices of the stucco that might take multiple layers or maybe a little bit watered down paint. Just like when we were painting the cement texture that we did in our video last week. If you haven't checked out that video, check out the abstract painting using cement video right here. If you're interested in learning any other abstract painting techniques, check out my abstract painting techniques playlist right here. I'll see you in the next one.